Hello everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm Susan from Tiara Lace Crochet and today I'd like to share with you how to crochet this lovely simple shell border that's done using slip stitches and half double crochets. This little sample is the star stitch. I'll leave a little end card so you can see the tutorial for the actual star stitch but today we're just going to look at how to create a nice edging for any blanket really. So hope you enjoy. It's one of the simplest blanket edges that I know. Um, if you're not already subscribed, it'd be lovely if you would and also hit the bell notification to make sure you don't miss any future videos. And if you have any comments, please do leave those. And if you really enjoy the tutorial, please do give the video a thumbs up. Right, let's get started. With the right side of your work facing you and a slip knot on your hook, we're going to start with a standing single crochet on this right side. Just pop your first single crochet in any stitch just before the corner. So we might as well start here. It's helpful to go under a couple of loops to just get a better finish and then space them out as evenly as you can. The idea is to get an edge that lays nice and flat. Once you get up to the corner, This is a little um, stretch because I've been practicing on this swatch. So just do one single crochet, two chains, and then another single crochet. And you can work over the end if you haven't finished off already. And then single crochet all the way across the top. A single crochet in each stitch. And as our row before this, our finishing row was a row of half double crochets, you'll notice that you have a little ridge forming that frames the star stitch quite nicely. Here we go. So that's how your corner is going to look. And these are the single crochets. So go ahead, work across the top with your single crochets and I'll meet you at the next corner. So we're at the other end now. This little bar here is actually part of the half double crochet. It's stretched as I've worked into this before. So just turn your work. You'll see a little bar there. Go under both loops of that V stitch and work your final single crochet of the row. Then chain two and work another single crochet into this corner and that's how it's looking. So next we need to work some single crochets all the way down this left hand side and I found that between the stars if I can get roughly three single crochets it seems to lay quite neatly. So we've already done this one. So one, two, compact Perhaps pop one in there. Again, try not to go under just one loop. Going under more than one loop gives a better finish. This is how it's looking. So go ahead and I'll meet you once you reach the bottom corner, the bottom left hand corner it will be. So at the bottom corner we do a single crochet, two chains and another single crochet. Now we're going to work across the bottom this is how your work would look if you worked into the 
top loop of your foundation chain when you start just our stitch row. So you can see these little ridges here. We have this little ridge across the top. Well, if we work into the back loop here of this foundation chain, we'll end up with a nice little ridge there too. That's of course if you're doing the star stitch design, but otherwise just put the single crochets with whatever you've used, whatever pattern you've used or start to your work you've used. So if you just turn your work, you can see that back loop there. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, and then finish your single crochet. And that pushes that loop forwards. So once again, go in that back loop and work your single crochets all the way across. There you go, you can see that little ridge forming. So go ahead, work across here and I'll meet you at the next corner. So this is how it's looking. You can see that little ridge along the bottom forming really nicely. When you get to the corner and to the last stitch, I would actually go under both loops so it doesn't stretch. So single crochet in that last stitch, chain two, and single crochet again in the same stitch. There we go. And then just once again, work single crochets up this side until you reach here and we'll meet you there and show you how to finish off round one. So when you reach your first single crochet, the standing single crochet, just insert your hook under there, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. So it's probably easiest to then yarn over and pull through and fasten off, to be honest. And then we can either leave it as it is if you find that that's all you need or you can complete a simple shell edging which we'll do in a second so that's how it's looking now so you have your nice sides and this is the bottom and this is the other side it's gone a little bit bumpy there where i changed colors but all together that provides quite a nice neat edging for the star stitch or any stitch that you desire your blanket to be in. Right, so to do the little um, shell edging, the really simple shell edging, we'll start in a sec. For round two, start in any corner, insert your hook under the two chains in that corner, yarn over and pull through and then work two chains. These two chains will count as your first half double crochet and in each corner we need a total of seven half double crochets. So now we need to do six half double crochets. So your half double crochets just yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through and yarn over, pull through the three loops on your hook. So if we have a look, that's the first half double crochet, the two chains, one, two, three, four. So we need another three half double crochets in this corner. Next, we're going to skip a stitch, so skip this first stitch here. In the next stitch, work 
a slip stitch. Just get rid of that little tail there. Okay, so we're going to skip a stitch again. Skip and then work five half double crochets in this next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five, and skip a stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch. You do this all the way across this row or across this edge to the end. I'll meet you about here. So here I can see at a glance if that's a slip stitch and I skip one, I'd have a shell in here, slip stitch in there, sorry, skip one, and we'll be slip stitching here. Let's just check again. Skip, shell, skip, slip stitch. So we prefer to have a shell in the corner. So to achieve that, we can cheat a little by just, instead of skipping one, here after this shell we can just do a slip stitch in there and then you can skip one here and do your shell in the next one one two three four and five there we go so what you can do now is just skip that one and go in here or you can slip stitch there and do your shell there it will really not be too noticeable so we'll just go in the next one and then we'll do our seven half double crochets in the corner by doing this, you don't have to be worrying about the stitch counts and things. Supposing you've just decided to make a little blanket in a stitch that you really like and you don't want to work out the exact number of stitches for the border to fit and things like that. So we need just seven half double crochets in here. Let's have a count. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. I'll turn my work now, nudge those across, six and seven. And then we skip this stitch and in this one we pop a slip stitch. And then just once again skip and do your five half double crochets down the side. It's only in the corners you do your seven half double crochets. Two, three, four, five. So let's just have a little look at how this is turning out now. You can have a little look there. You can see that makes quite a nice corner. And you can hardly notice that you've actually gone in there. So there they are, all nice and evenly spaced. And you've still got, hang on, zoom out slightly. It looks fine. So you work around all the edges in the corners, just like so, just like we've done across here and here for the corners. Sometimes you'll land where you need to pop your shell in the corner and that's great. But if not, like I said before, don't worry and don't skip a stitch, or you could even skip two. So just go with whatever looks best for yourselves. And I'll meet you back here. So I, I've been working my way around and then I just realized I can show you 
hear how it's not quite, quite worked out right again. So we're skipping one here and slip stitching here. And then we've got two stitches before our shell. So we can either jump over two here and slip stitch there or just slip stitch in this one here having skipped one then skip two and just go ahead with our shell and it will still look absolutely fine so when you've worked your way all the way around find that second chain you just insert your hook yarn over pull through as you ended with a little slip stitch there, just slip stitch through the slip stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Snip your yarn. Pull through. And secure. And then you just weave in that tail end. So let's have a look now at how this border would be on a little blanket. I think you can see it works quite well. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. In the meantime, take care and I'll see you on the next video.